for real, hell, and it is a place. I had a very strange, can I tell you something? Can I make a confession? I was so struggling with this. You know where we are as a church. We want the church to grow and go forth. And you want to give positive sermons where people are lifted up and you want them to be happy. And, you know, can I say, can, is that all right? Uh, uh, that's, that's where we are. And, uh, and the Lord laid this on me. And I said, oh, Lord, uh, I tell you what, we're, we'll do it later this year. <laughs> and uh, so as we were traveling, I was in a place and there was a waiting room. One more story. I was in this waiting room. And I was, as I was sitting there, I was reading my Bible. And there, uh, a, a lady and a man came in, and they sat right next to me. In fact, where Sister Harshley is, like where I'm sitting, and these two people were sitting like these two chairs right on the end. And so they were sitting there, and they were talking, and uh, you could sort of tell that they were people that must have known, some, known one another some time ago, and it sounds like they were just sort of running into each other again. And so they were just carrying on polite conversation. I was just, I was listening in. I wasn't being nosy. Uh, they were talking so loud. I had to hear them. And uh, so they talk about family and so forth. And then the lady said to the man, and she said, and how is Sally doing? And I said, oh, how's Sally doing? <laughs> how old is she now? And she says, Sally is 17. Oh, I, oh, Sally's a teenager now. I was thinking to myself, that's wonderful. And uh, <laughs> then, then the, the conversation began to, to veer off a little bit. And the lady said, now, and uh, what are you feeding her? And I thought, well, what do you mean? Uh, I'm sure she's feeding herself. Uh, <laughs> this is a strange question. <laughs> 17? And, uh, and then the man said, oh, I'm feeding her rats, live rats. And I really had to look over then. I looked. I, could feel, I looked over. And uh, what? And he went on to talk about this. Come to find out Sally is a snake. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. He feeding this snake, live rats. And they went on to talk about it. This time, I'm just plain looking now. Uh, I'm not even acting like I'm trying to mind my own business. Uh, and uh, so the man said, yeah, I feed her about two rats every other week. And uh, he went on, he said, I put them in there live. Uh, oh, he just said, I won't go into all that. But he said, I bought, and then he did this, this is the part, he would get to it. He says, I, buy, I go to the pet store, and I buy a bunch of rats. And he, I think he pulled the rats, they thinking they're going home. In any event, he said, I put them in their own little cage while they're waiting. So he got big old cage. This, this sounded, I gather it was either a python or a constrictor or some big. He said, when I first bought her, she fit around my finger. Now she's... Okay, I don't want to gross anybody out. Huge, big old thing. And so he said, I put uh, the rats in their own little cage there. And I feed them. And they got, you know, that little, little gerbil uh, windmill they little run on. And they just give them, he give them grapes. And he, he give them fruit and everything. And the little rats, they just living it up. Oh, this, is, this man is so nice to us. He just feeding us some good stuff that we didn't get back at the pet store. Living it up. Oh, so they think. Uh, and then he said, uh, the day of judgment comes. Uh, he takes them out of that little thing, uh, and he puts them in the glass cage with Sally. Uh, and he said when they first get in there, they look at him, they're like, happy. Uh, we got a big place now. Uh, and lo and behold, uh, Sally comes forth. Uh, and he said they look at him like this. Uh, what have you done to us? Oh, it was pitiful. Tell me, excuse me. He said, 
I don't even know the rest. He said they start screaming. And Sally does her thing to them. And I listened to this story. I said, Jesus, help me, Lord. I hear you, Lord. What am I saying here? The devil in the world that we are in, he has some people. And he put them in a little bit of cage. And he feed them a little bit of this and a little bit of that. He feed them a little bit of food and a little bit of sex and a little bit of wine and he give them a little bit of money and he give them a little bit of good times and they think that all is well all oh, ain't life just good but what they don't realize is that there is a judgment day coming the devil is not your friend all he wants to do is to fatten you up and it gets you over into the darkness of hell where you'll never never have eternal life oh, but I want you to know today I'm not going to leave us on hell here because the gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news of the death burial and the resurrection of our savior oh I got good news today I'm not going to leave us in hell because I want somebody to know that Jesus came and he died for you and he died for me now we don't have to go to hell tell the devil hell no tell the devil hell no tell your flesh hell no tell the world hell no I'm not going there because Jesus made a way out of no way he died for me that I might live come on and give the Lord a real praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Uh, the Lord saved us. Uh, sometimes we say that. Uh, he saved me. Uh, he saved me. Uh, he saved me. Uh, that's a good thing to say. Uh, but I want you to know uh, we need to realize what he saved us from. Uh, the Lord saved us uh, from hell, uh, from the fire, uh, from the heat, uh, from the screams. Uh, the Lord saved us. Uh, if there's anybody here saved, uh, I want you to open your mouth right now huh, while you got your facility huh, and give God a praise huh, and thank him for saving you. Oh, I thank you. Huh. I don't have to go to hell. I'm not going to hell. I'm not going to that place. I'm not going to that place. And I want you to know something else. I'm going to do everything in my power to tell everybody I can tell that Jesus is a savior, that Jesus is a deliverer, that Jesus is a keeper, that Jesus is a helper, that Jesus died. He went to hell and it came back and he said, all oh, power. Hallelujah, uh, it's given unto me. Uh, 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 somebody said, uh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus uh, and all that he's done for me, uh, my soul cries out, uh, hallelujah, uh, thank God for saving me. Uh, when I think of the goodness, uh, when I think of where he took me from, uh, ah, my soul cries out, uh, hallelujah. Uh, and I believe on the other side of glory, uh, in the presence of the living God, uh, we'll be able to look over uh, in that place where he delivered us from. Uh, and we don't have